Chris Hemsworth reprises his role as Thor for the third time in, uh, of course, Thor the, the Dark World. Odin, played by Anthony Hopkins, sentences Loki, played by Tom Hiddleston, to the dungeons of Asgard because, uh, of course, you know his crimes in New York. Jane Foster, played by Natalie Portman, while staying in London, stumbles across a realm that she was in for a couple of hours, and when she gets back on Earth, she something came back with her, and it's in her, and it's in her system. An old enemy of uh, of Odin, named Malachi, played by Christopher Eccleston, wants what's in Jane's system. And Thor reunites with Jane in order to protect her. And, of course, you know, a romance, a romance blossoms between the two as he takes her to Asgard and shows her, shows her his home world. And, but Malachi will stop at nothing and he has an army to back him up. He will destroy anything that gets in his way to get what's in Jane's system. And Thor has an army, but he feels he has to. He needs. He feels he needs Loki for help. Despite his better judgment, will Loki double cross him? Will Malachi get what's in Jane's system and conquer the universe? Well, you're gonna have to see the movie to find out. I gotta say, this movie was was great. I gotta say, it was good. Now you know Kenneth Branagh is not directing it this time, so uh, the Shakespearean elements he brought to the first film is just not in it this time. I I was kind of disappointed because I thought that's what uh, made the first Thor interesting. But I'm not saying this movie is bad. No, I thought it was great. I mean, Chris Hemsworth is great, always great as Thor. I like the way the movie displays he can be, he's not all powerful at times, he can be quite vulnerable in some in some moments. Anthony Hopkins was good as Odin, and so was Rene Russo as Thor's mother. I gotta say, there is a scene where she gets to be quite a badass. Whew. That was a great scene. And uh, Natalie Portman was good as Jane Foster, she gets... She is, she's given more to play on this time than be this the typical girlfriend who just who finds Thor intriguing. She she's given more to do this time, and I thought that was good. And and all the other cast do well too. I mean, no point to it's all it's always focused on Chris Hemsworth. I mean, I mean all the other characters get their chance to shine, and and like Jamie Alexander, Zachary Levy, and. Uh, Ray Stevenson, they're all good, and so is Tom Hiddleston as Loki. <laughs> he's just always a joy to watch. You just kind of... He's, he's like the guy you just really love to hate. <laughs> you want to hate to an extreme, but you you just feel you can't at times. Christopher Eccleston is good as the main villain. Um, Malachi, he, he... He does give his... He's given such good, memorable scenes, too, and the fight scenes are great. Never re once relies on the silly shaky cam, which I hate. Special effects were good. I mean, in this one, I think they... In, it's always in the sequel they amp up the special effects. I could tell some moments of the effects were very much inspired off of Lord of the Rings and Star Wars. Trust me, you see this film, you know what I'm talking about. Idris Elba was good, too. He's given a much bigger role to play, unlike he did in the first one, and and not to mention Kat Dennings as Jane's friend and assistant is good too, They're, everybody's good, I and mean, I really uh, think this is a good Marvel film, it, it's got a, it's got all the elements that you pretty much like in a Marvel film. Now, um, Chris Hemsward is a uh, Still, the fun, cocky Thor at times, but he shown shows after the events in the Avengers, he has grown more as a as a person, which I thought was good acting by Chris Hemsworth. 
Will there be more Thor movies in the future? Well, who knows? <laughs> who knows? And of course, you know there is a after credits thing. So, if, so, so I'm begging you, kind of stick around for that. You may miss that if you if you don't stick around for the credits. Of course, you know to stick around for the credits because you you want to expect that in most in Marvel films. So all in all, I'm giving Thor The Dark World a 9 out of 10. Okay? Sayonara. Mm -hmm.